in this series of uh, videos in this particular playlist we're going to be looking at something called the inverse function. Now in one of the previous playlists we looked at composite functions so this is the next little bit of the new topics for GCSE maths. Okay so we're given this function of g and it says that g function of x is uh, 4 over x plus 5. Um, and it says express the inverse function g to the power of minus 1 in the form g to the power of minus 1 brackets x. Okay, <laughs> right, what we basically mean by that is that if we have uh, g function of x equals 4 over x plus 5, what I'm going to do, just to make it a little bit easier, is I'm actually going to swap that and I'm just going to call it y because it just makes it a little bit easier for the method that we're going to use for this. And the whole idea behind it is we need to get this x function on its own. So we're dealing with swapping around and changing the subject of a particular equation. So in this particular case, I'm going to multiply both sides by x plus 5. So if I multiply by x plus 5 on the right hand side, I'm going to lose this here. If I multiply it by this side, I'm going to get y times x plus 5 equals 4. OK, so we're in a position then that I can isolate the x by simply dividing through by y. Or at least I can get the x plus 5. So I end up with x plus 5 equals 4 over y. And what I've done there is I've divided through by y. OK. And then finally, it's a case of getting rid of this plus 5 by minusing 5 from both sides. So I end up with x equals 4 over y minus 5. OK, pretty much that's it. It's now just a case of tidying this up a little bit and putting it in the correct form. Now, the way that we do that is we say, actually, it isn't y. This is actually, we're going to change this y to x, and we're going to change this back to the original uh, requirement for the subject of the formula. So that becomes g to the power of minus 1, x equals 4 over x minus 5. Now, that's it. OK, so it does take a little bit of time, but providing you follow the same principle each time, um, and there are some more examples in the playlist, then you should be able to cope with this fairly well once you understand what's going on there and how to kind of follow the method through. I hope that's been OK. Please do add a comment below, subscribe to the channel, uh, have a look at the other playlists and the other examples in this particular uh, uh, inverse function playlist. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.